Puget, and then also here between that. We're not looking for some project. We're all Coast Guard auxiliaries. We're all volunteers. We do this all, all for free. Okay. But the whole idea is for vessel safety, and and uh, if you can get the sticker, okay. you know, from passing, you have you mounted on your boat probably right on the side. Here are things that are going to be classified as requirements. Your display of numbers, which we've already checked. Okay. I will show that as approval if everything else passes. Uh, you have to always have your registration and documentation on the boat. We have to have your PFDs and approval. Yeah, I've got two there, and I've got all my life jackets underneath the seat. Okay, and we'll, we'll, we'll look at those. Ahead. And do you have uh, flares, visual distress signals? No, I don't. Okay, well, why don't we go through everything else sure. anyhow? Sure. Yeah. And your registration. Yeah, we have to have your registration here. Yeah. How long is your boat? 17 foot. 17 feet, okay. It's a 1976 Mako Flats. Wow. 1976, it's been around a couple years. It's been around a few years, sir. What we look for is just general wear and tear, make sure that they're not ripped, they can still float, right? That's pretty much what we want to look for. Really well. Yeah, those are nice things I've had been So did you enjoy working on the boat with, with your dad? Yeah. Good father, son. You do uh, both basically this is considered Indian. Thank you. Thank you so much. Five bucks over here now.